What's up guys, in this video we're running over the biggest updates in the NFT space and in the crypto space. Of course, lots to talk about. We're talking about ApeCoin, can't really get around it. We're talking about Board Ape Yacht Club, we're talking about Azuki that made a big announcement. Board Ape Kennel Club, which is a very attractive play. So I'm giving you the, the plays that I think are going to do very well over the next couple of days and weeks. Um, and what to expect kind of from the NFT sector right now so lots to talk about azuki will be one of the things we're going to talk about and three lenders will also be one of the th things that we're going to talk about first things first of course we had apecoin right so apecoin launched yesterday the token launched by yuga labs the token launched for the board ape community the board ape ecosystem highly anticipated everybody was talking about it for a very long time and finally yesterday was the day everybody holding a board ape or the mutant ape got tokens airdropped so board ape got uh, 1100 mutants got 2042 if you had a kind of club with it you got roughly 900 extra tokens on your board or mutant ape which was quite a lot or quite a lot of money um, people in the board ape community like in the discord uh, and people in private groups like i'm in the ape list for example we're talking about it the whole day what do we do when do we sell it was one of the biggest launches that we've probably ever seen they launched on binance straight away on coinbase ftx um, bybit they launched on kraken so they launched on all the major exchanges straight away they're sitting at like a four billion market cap three and a half billion market cap right now so massive launch right but they didn't launch on all the exchanges at the same time so people were trying to figure out what would be the best play when do we sell do we hold some people hold some people sold um, i think it's fair to say that people i sold as well right if you get that much money airdrop to you why why wouldn't you turned out to not be the best play to sell because you know overnight the token went up again but you know doesn't matter you get quite a lot of free money so um, it launched on FTX, it jumped up all the way to $28 for a little bit. It wasn't enough liquidity for most people to sell, but some people were able to sell that high. I kind of panicked sold, to be honest. So you get your ad, your tokens edge of the MetaMask, and then you were able to deposit it onto Binance already, which is what I did. So I deposited it into Binance, thinking, you know, I'm going to sell here on Binance when they launch, because it's a big exchange, a lot of volume, la la la. So that happened, they opened, they opened around six point something dollars and then it went up to nine dollars and then I kind of panic sold straight away in the first candle and I was like, fuck, I got eighteen point five thousand dollars, right? Which is, doesn't matter how much money you make, doesn't matter how much money you have, if you get a free fifth or eighteen thousand five hundred dollar airdrop, that's good money. So I sold, um, I think if we get the one minute chart here, if it doesn't go all the way, yeah, it does, right, hold up, hey. Um, here you can see, um, I sold on the first candle here, right around nine, no, that's not correct. I sold here on the, well, third candle then, at $9. So I sold at $9, and then it kind of stabilized for a second. I was like, all right, cool, good, I made a good move, that's fine. And then it just kept pumping and pumping and pumping, and it hit $15 for a second. Well, uh, my $18,000 that I sold would have been worth close to $32,000, $33,000 which is fine, you still gotta be happy, right? And then after that, it drops, so like, all right, cool. Maybe if I was here, I wouldn't have sold, whatever. And then uh, after that, overnight, so I went to bed, it, it, you know, it dropped below the $9 for a little bit. It was right around the seven point something. I said, if it drops below the $7, very good entry point. Unfortunately, it never got that far. And then it even got to $18 again uh, earlier today. And now it is kind of stabilizing right around 12 to $13, which means, it's stabilizing right around $3.5 billion as a market cap for ApeCoin, which is massive, right? I think that there's gonna be a lot to it with this token. Total maximum supply is 1 billion. There's no burning system in place, so that's going to be the same. Slowly but surely, more tokens will be released. And uh, fully diluted market cap is already 13 billion. I think market cap will slowly just catch up towards this when more tokens come in circling supply, right? I honestly think that this token can go to $30, $40 if not more eventually compare it to xc infinity which is a playable game and a good ecosystem and where that has been compare it to a fucking dutch coin that has no utility but a very good strong community that is a top 10 coin right look at it that way ape coin has a very good strong community but also has utility and will also have a playable game and a lot more to it so i honestly think that this can be a very very good token big statement to make but i honestly think it has the potential to someday come in become a top 10 coin right might not stay there might not be there for a while at least the top 20 just because it's 
based around the biggest NFT project there is right now. And Giga Labs is, of course, doing very well as a, as a business. So if they can keep up with the work they're doing, I do think that that's all possible. Board Ape itself went from a 106 uh, floor and a mutant went from a 25 roughly floor all the way down. This one went to 77. This one went to 15. So goes to show that people actually bought these for the token air airdrop and then sold it again. That's why the floor massively dropped. They claimed the tokens, they sold the tokens and straight away got rid of the NFT. But it bounced back up, both of them bounced back up and it's holding very strong. What I think now is going to be a very good play is the Kennel Club, right? So there's going to be a couple of utilities attached to the ApeCoin, one of them being the DAO system. So the DAO system means that people will be able to vote um, what's going to happen. So there's a board every six months. There's going to be a new board. These people are uh, one of them is the co-founder of Reddit, a uh, head of ventures and gaming at FTX, principal at Sound Ventures, co-founder and chairman at Animoca Brands and president and general counsel at Horizon Labs. So definitely some good, important people that are on the board right now. Every six months, there's going to be a voting system and they can change whoever wants to be or not, who, who can be on the board. There's a DAO system more when people can vote on a lot more different things. One of them being this, one of them being the um, staking system, right? Now, if we quickly go back to the allocation here, you can see that the Kennel Club itself has no utility. It's been announced. Well, it might even be here. Kennel Club itself has no utility on its own. Um, no, it doesn't say that here, but what they said is that the Kennel Club doesn't have a utility on its own, but paired with a mutant or paired with a board ape, it does, right? And that's what you see. You got extra tokens if you had a Kennel Club as well. They might announce staking. It's one of the options that's on the table, the DAO system. So there's going to be a vote. People can vote whether they want to get the staking in place, yes or no. Well, it only makes sense that if you have a board ape, you get the most amount of staking rewards. If you get a muted ape, you get the second amount of staking rewards. If you get a kennel club, you don't get any staking rewards. But pair it with a mutant ape or a board ape, you get higher staking rewards, right? There's only 10,000 kennel clubs and there's 30,000 apes, board ape and mutant apes together. Eventually, the people that want to hold, that want to benefit from the staking rewards, they do really gonna want a kennel club. But there's one, one kennel club and three apes as a ratio. So you can imagine What's going to happen to the floor price of the Kennel Club when that is actually announced? It's not live yet, it's not announced. I, I'm pretty certain that that will happen. So I'm pretty certain that this is only going to go up. So I'm looking to buy one too. I just said it not too long ago. I wanted to buy one and went from 6.7 to 7.8. So you see the volume here is massive. Floor price is rising. I think anything below 10 Ethereum right now is, is a good deal. So the faster you get in, the better if you're looking to make a good play on a bit more expensive. For me, I'm just going to hold it because um, it's going to give me the staking rewards from a mutant. But um, I don't have the funds for it right now because I'm looking at Azuki, Clone X, a couple of other ones. If I would have the funds for it, I would just buy two or three of them and flip it over time. As soon as that announcement comes, this is just going to jump up. I think that's my opinion. That's what I uh, I am assuming. This is rising again as well. Even though the claim has been, you can see that it's holding very strong, very stable. Um, so that's most of it right then. One other thing is that they're coming up with a play to earn game. So Animoca Brands, of course, big part of the board ape uh, ecosystem of like the play to earn game they're making. Yesterday night or in the middle of the night for me, they changed up Benji Bananas. I think a lot of people know this. It's like a game that's been out there for ages already. And they made it into a play to earn game. You can buy Benji Banana on uh, OpenSea or like you can you can buy the playable pass. So they made a membership pass that you can buy. You can now buy it for 0 0.35. Um, yeah, 0 0.35. I've got two of them. What this means is you can use one of these passes and then you can play Benji Banana and then you can earn ape tokens. Eventually you can earn a certain token and then you can transfer that into an ape token, meaning it's a play to earn game that you can actually uh, use to make money with, right? They've worked with a lot of other things uh, already as well. They're obviously very well known for things that they've done for Sandbox and a Sand token. So I think yeah, this is what the game looks like. I think most people would know this. It's like a mobile game, right? Uh, uh, this looks very familiar. I've played this when I was younger. <laughs> But can you imagine playing this and be actually being able to earn money with it, right? So I swooped up two of these, uh, these, these, these memberships, passes, 
and then I'm just gonna keep one to play it and earn tokens and I'm just gonna sell one again later on. That's one of the things, there's a lot more to it. They're coming up with more play to earn games. There's one that has a bit of a teaser to it, like a bit of a picture, which is this. This is what the game will probably look like eventually, or at least that's this is the vibe they're gonna give to it. Here's one of the apes, this is the style, and then this is like a robot. I think it looks dope, I think it looks awesome. That's they're developing a new play to earn game. They're probably doing it like big, massive. They want to make sure that they continue to be one of the big, the biggest one out there. So very important to keep an eye out for. All of this is, of course, very important to use ApeCoin. They're adopting ApeCoin in the new play to earn game, which is currently being developed. So ApeCoin is going to be massive. I said anything below seven is a good entry point because I said that I kind of missed it. Right, I should have bought it again, probably here. It did go a little bit towards the seven, but I didn't buy in again, which I should have. Now, looking at the volume, now looking where it's, where it's at, it's going to be very, very volatile. So if you wanna get into this, do expect a lot of volatility. You might be able to buy in around 12, and then it drops towards nine, could be potentially, which is a pretty big loss, right, 25% down. But it could also, um, um, might as well jump up back towards 18 or 20 plus, definitely possible too. Then we look at the, the market cap, Market cap right now sitting at 3.6 billion, uh, which is decent. We look at Xe Infinity, it's got a market cap of three, so it's already high in it, which has a playable actual game, good ecosystem, and a lot more, right? It's working, it's proven, and you name it. So looking at that, like the, that difference, I think 3.5 billion market cap is pretty healthy. There's no game yet, but there's such a big community that the NFTs are there, which is uh, still very, massive then we look at dutchcoin and dutchcoin has nothing but a good community right they're very strong they're very powerful as a community and they're very good but they don't have anything like that's it's not real they have a market cap of 15 billion i think you can combine dutchcoin and Xe a little bit and relate that to apecoin not that there's anything the same not that there's, that there's any similarities between those three but I think you combine a very good, strong community with a playable game, then you get best of both worlds. So I think that ApeCoin can definitely be sitting right around the four to five billion market cap. If we look at the total uh, amount of money floor price from Board Ape, there was a post, I don't know the numbers exactly off the top of my head, but there's a post, floor price out of all apes, it was sitting right around $5 billion, right? Um, and there was a, if you then compare that to the floor price of the token, it kind of made sense. If you then compared uh, a couple of other aspects within Board Ape, like as an ecosystem, floor pro, the, 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 the market cap sitting right around five billion to six billion dollars would be stable, would be healthy. Now, there needs to be more tokens coming into circulating supply, so yes, there can be a lot of changes, but still, um, I think that this can hit 20 plus, definitely, no doubt. All right, cool, so that's that. Then we have next one up is Azuki. I wanna talk about Azuki for a very quick. <laughs> I missed out on this one yesterday. I spoke to somebody, I wanted to buy one. I didn't wanna buy it off OpenSea, so I had like I had a deal with somebody, 10.5 Ethereum is what I wanted to, oh, is that this one? No, no, oh, he did have the, <laughs> he has the same hair and the same like umbrella thingy. Uh, it kind of looks like that one, to be honest, but it wasn't that one. Uh, oh no, he had this style hair, he had this hair, he had a little beard, but that aside. So I wanted to buy it for 10.5 Ethereum, right? Um, I didn't have the Ethereum ready at that time, so I was transferring a little bit of money. I was waiting for the money to come into my wallet. I did have the tokens sold, of course, from ApeCoin, so that was in that same wallet already. It was late, he went to bed, I went to bed, so I was like, fine, we'll do it in the morning. Woke up, floor price 13. Why is that? Well, they just announced an event that's happening in LA, LA garden party azuki garden party so the holders can have a plus one and, and they're gonna do like a special guest performance they're gonna have a party they're gonna probably speak about the future plans and and whatever i definitely think um this is very bullish because this is going to be a massive event they're definitely going to announce certain things there and it's already in 12 days from now so they're gonna announce certain things i'm 100 percent sure they're gonna announce multiple things i think that's going to be very very powerful and I think that this is definitely something to keep an eye out for and look at and you know be a part of if you can. I think that Azuki has a lot of potential. I wanted to compare it a little bit to multiple blue chips, right? Um, uh, let's go ahead. 
you have Azuki. Of course, you have Bore, but that, that aside for a second, and CryptoPunks, that aside as well. Of course, we know we didn't do the video on it. I didn't get the time, but we know Board Ape or Yuga Labs bought up CryptoPunks and bought up MeBits. Massive announcement. They're now coming up with like move after move after move. So that's why I do think that they're going to announce something on the game or they're going to announce something on the staking soon. They announced that bought up CryptoPunks and MeBits, and then bang, after that, they came up with a token, which was a very good play. But you have Azuki, you have Clone X, and you have Doodles. Those are the three, according to me, at least to me, the three main ones. Yes, you have Invisible Friends, and you have a Fee Friends, of course, a high floor price at least, but they're a little bit different. Um, cool Cats is one of them as well. A little bit different. I think Azuki, most potential for the longer term, mid, short, mid, and longer term, but doesn't hasn't proven anything yet. There's nothing out there. There's nothing known yet. It's kind of nothing yet. Clonex deal with Nike, massive, good utility, very stable, a little bit more certain. And then Doodles. Doodles kind of doesn't really do it for me, but I know a lot of people think it's cool. It was announced on the event in Texas the other day, and um, it's got a very strong community. So it's definitely potential for me. It's not really one. I, I would definitely go for Clonex or Azuki over Doodles. But then you have one that's a little bit more affordable, because now we're talking about all these things that are like 10 plus, 20 plus Ethereum. You have three lenders, and three lenders is definitely one to keep an eye out for. I just bought two earlier uh, today. I think that this is definitely one that's gonna has the potential to do really well. It's backed by a good, good team. They uh, have done good work before already. It's got a good community. Yeah, the, the the art of it is very simple. It's not that special, but I think that there's a lot of upside potential. They're doing really good work, and they're really trying their hardest and their best to make this project like a big project the team behind it is putting all the effort into this project so um i think that freelanders is out of the projects that we see here from that have a little bit of a higher for a lower floor price right if you look at anything that's 10 plus is is kind of the blue chip status that's that's different i think anything from the one and a half to three ethereum range uh freelanders is one of them to definitely keep an eye out for um, so that's all that I'm looking at right now. You do have, a, I have given you a bonus one, Multiverse, which is um, very risky, I think, but good to, to kind of look at. Howlers, oh, there's two of them, Howlers as well. So you have Multiverse, which is uh, kind of compared to like NFT worlds a little bit. So that this is a project that um, has potential, but very risky at the same time too. Metaverse play. But something to keep an eye out for, no, not necessarily meaning to make a move on right now, but at least to keep an eye out for. Um, and then I think that that's, that's about it for right now. So the main projects that we're looking at are a little bit more expensive right now, big, bigger plays with Azuki and the Board App Canopla Club as the main ones. But I think that sometimes, you know, you, put, you gotta put in a little bit more money. There's a bit of movement happening, volume is coming back, good positive sentiment is coming back again as well. So we can potentially expect a massive run up and those are the ones that are probably gonna see the biggest run up. Yes, you have small projects, lower floor price that can you know do a three, four, five, six, ten 10 X, but from the bigger ones that have been a little bit more established already that, that you can hold, those are the ones that I would be going for. So I'm very curious to see what's gonna happen. I think ApeCoin can do very well with the longer term. I'm very bullish on Board Ape and Mutant Ape and Kennel Club, also very bullish on Azuki, on Clone X, and then three lenders on the, the little bit of the, the, the relative cheaper side. So that's all I have for you guys for today. Bit of an update on the NFT market, what's going on and what I'm focused on. Thanks for watching. If you could just lastly hit the subscribe button, bell notification so you get updated on the next videos. I would appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.